Hello, my name is Susanna Pinkosheva, and I'm a final year PhD computer science student at New Research Laboratory at the University of Stratkite under the supervision of Dr. Yashar Mushpegi and Dr. William Gunn. I'm pleased to present to you today a project titled Moderating Effects of Self-Received Knowledge in a Relevant Assessment Task, which will be presented in a poster form at SINAP's annual scientific meeting. This project is funded by the EPSRC. In this study, we focus on relevance assessment, which is an important part of information retrieval. To understand what the relevance assessment is, I'll start by explaining information retrieval. So imagine a user who has an information need, and they would, for example, like to know what's the best one currently available on the market. So they ask Google, and Google then retrieves a bunch of documents that the user evaluates. So let's say that the first two documents are asked, so the user would skip them because they are not relevant but then the user would find the third document to be relevant because it answers their information need. So what the user is doing by interacting with relevant documents and skipping irrelevant documents, it's called relevance assessment. Relevance assessment therefore plays a central role in information retrieval. It is an important indicator of system effectiveness and performance. Studying relevance assessment, however, is very challenging because relevance is complex, subjective, and difficult to measure. It also depends on user's cognitive states, perception, and knowledge, which provides psychological context determining the problem and situation at hand. Previous studies investigating the effect of participants' knowledge have mainly focused on topical knowledge, which refers to specific knowledge one believes to hold a valid topic or subject area. However, our users are often unaware of their knowledge anomalies. Therefore, we focus on a user's subjectively perceived knowledge, or SPK, which refers to knowledge one believes to hold. According to previous studies, users' SPK is a better predictor of information interaction behavior than topical knowledge. Thus, the main aim of the study is to better understand the role of users' SPK within the relevance assessment. And using EEG, we investigated neurocognitive mechanisms associated with testing user SPK states during relevance assessment. And to do so, we measured the neural activity of 18 participants while they provided relevance assessment as a part of a question answering task. In the analysis, we considered the effect of SPK and specifically how it modulates the brain activity underpinning relevance assessment. What did we find? Data-driven analysis reveals significant event-related potential differences associated with P300 central parietal positivity and 400 and LPC, which were modulated by the searcher's SPK in the context of relevance assessment. We speculate that the SPK affects distinct cognitive processes associated with attention, semantic integration and categorization, memory and decision formation, but underpin relevance assessment formation. This study constitutes an important step towards better understanding of the role SPK plays during relevance assessment. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or you can directly email or message me. Thank you so much.